1957, year of space and Sputnik dogs. Laika, first space traveler, was ready for the takeoff. And here it is. At 600 miles, the half-ton satellite joined the meteors in outer space to orbit around the Earth at 18,000 miles an hour with its passenger. A shocked America attempted to launch a grapefruit-sized satellite on the Vanguard rocket with disastrous results. In the shadow of the Eiffel Tower and Sputnik, President Eisenhower, French Prime Minister Gaia, and other NATO leaders gathered in Paris to consider the peril. Their decision? That three European nations would be armed with intermediate range missiles. The magic of President Eisenhower was a rallying force to an undecided conference. And to give added impetus to its purpose, word was received of the successful launching of the Atlas Intercontinental Missile, an answer in part at least to Russia's space supremacy. In the rocket's fiery wake, was America's sober realization that the battle had just been joined and that the work of self-preservation was at hand in 1958, the dawn of the space age.